Hello and welcome to another one of my tutorials. This is the beans tutorial. So I'm going to teach you how to make this into this. Pretty neat, huh? Okay, first you want to go, well, if you want to use a PSD like I did, you want to go to snookums.com. They have plenty of PSD, celebrity PSDs. Um, then you go over here to where it says the PSDs. You click on it. And you can see here all the different types. I'm using, as you can see, a Jonas Brother one. Um, once you pick your PSD, it shows you a little preview. Just click on it and maximize it. Then you want to save as. Save it to your computer. Once you have it saved, open it in PSP like I did here okay if you have a white background sometimes it happens just get your magic wand tool and click in the white area you might want to feather it by three is what I usually do and then click on it and click delete and it'll get rid of the white area for you if it doesn't then we just move on. <laughs> Next you're going to want to click on your pen tool. Okay, You want to make sure that draw point to point is selected. You want to make sure that connect segments is checked. Okay, Create on vector. Which you don't have to but we do it anyways just in case you mess up. Um, you want the line style solid the width 5.00 and anti-alias the rest of the settings are pretty much don't matter um, first let's go ahead and resize the canvas so we can have some more room it's 397 pixels now I'm gonna go ahead and up it to 700 I'm gonna have a little square well a pretty big square really okay and then you're gonna choose a starting point like I'm going to start up here. Once you select your starting point, start to slant a little bit down, not too much, and then click on the next area. Do not let go. Just click it and drag it so you get a curve like this. Oh, very important. As you can see, what just happened to me. You have to make sure that on your palette, it is not like this, but like this. You want the background transparent and the color on top, the foreground color, background no color. Okay, so let's go here and let me delete this. Okay. So I'm going to choose my starting point my point and then ta-da okay and then you choose another point on the other side okay that came out horrible you don't want to go too down no I mean too up you don't want to make it too close I'm trying to do this so fast, I'm like messing up here. Okay. You don't have to do that, I just do that. I don't know why. I just like messing around with this tool. <laughs> okay, um, just rasterize. Convert to raster. Then you're going to duplicate. I kind of changed my mind about that, so I'm going to get the eraser tool. And I'm going to erase that on both layers. Okay, there we go. Okay, then on the first layer, you're going to go to Adjust, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and we're going to set that one to 4. Okay, see how it has its nice little pink glow. Then you go to the top layer, 
you are going to go to effects plugins alien skin eye candy 5 if you don't already have it I provided a link where you can get it for free um, then you're going to go to gradient glow and I do a glow radius of 7 soft in corners by 50 overall opacity 100 um, distortion 00, zero smoothness 100 and the color I use white all the time for this and I put that little thing right there so that you get this really nice thin glow and click OK see how cool it looks then you're gonna go to adjust um, blur Gaussian blur and I put this to one because we don't want to lose the you know the nice white glow then you're gonna merge down right click on the top layer and merge down once that's done get your eraser tool and erase away the second starting at the second line going over his body so hold on might want to get a little bit close up so that you can tell what it is you're erasing and try to make it as exact as possible whatever you get the point I set my brush to a circle size 32 for this picture you may have to go bigger or smaller depending on what you're doing okay then you just keep doing every other line just erase every other line okay um, let's do this one Okay, and there you go. It's all swirly like this. Now, what I like to do, where the hell did this come from? Okay, your layers should look pretty much like this. Not like that. Like this. Uh, what I like to do to get the sparkly things, click on your beam layer go to effects and plugins and if you don't have this this comes in the same package in the link that I provided with the eye candy um, I use constellation I do a star size of 2.0 size variation 92 edge star 5 overall star 5 overdrive 88 and twinkle amount 100 um, I don't really mess with the rotation so it, that's I guess default and then you make sure it's clicked keep original image sometimes they put by default it goes to fill with background color whatnot keep original image and then press OK and there you have a nice little glow now of course there are some things that the sparklies you just can't see so you can add a background layer to it just add a new layer use your flood fill tool and you can fill it with whatever you like I that real quick and there you go you can also get a brush and let me see what I have here I don't really have many brushes here because I use Photoshop most of the time but you can get a brush and just decorate the background so it looks all cute and stuff and there you have it my I'm just gonna leave it like that there's the beam the sparkly beam now you don't have to add the sparkles if you don't want to of course um, you don't have to add the gradient glow I just think it looks nicer like that and the sparkles is just really an addiction of mine I love sparkles on things <laughs> and I thought it made it look 
nice and glittery kind of like the Disney Channel thing they do yeah so there you have it how to make beams I hope you enjoyed this tutorial so comment 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 bye bye now